Makes a $5,000 reward now on the table after someone beats a dog to death in his front yard. The Humane Society now offering the reward following the attack in the Excelsior Springs. And 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson live tonight with what the dog's owner is saying. Lisa. Right now I'm live in Excelsior Springs and Snowball was beaten and killed in this yard. And you can tell by this memorial doghouse that he was truly loved by his community. Love you, town mascot that was very much loved. He will be dearly be missed. Laura Kingery is overwhelmed by the attention, but remains committed to justice for Snowball. He was bleeding from his mouth real bad, and of course that was all over him. Someone viciously attacked Snowball last month as he sat leashed in his front yard. The 17-year-old dog died three days later. Fellow dog lovers are in disbelief. He was just like a, the town dog. He was a beautiful dog and just kind of everybody adopted him. They'd go by and pet him and, and I did for a little bit, but not lately. He was an old dog. He never hurt anybody, never really bothered anybody. He was just... If he barked at you when you walked by, it's because he knew you, and he said, get over here, come pay attention to me. Kingery says whoever attacked her dog had to be sick, but that doesn't ease the pain. Her husband died a year ago. Bob and Snowball were so connected, and then Snowball was my connection. I, I really miss him, and it's, now I feel really alone. Springs police. They tell us they've see, received a lot of tips and leads, but they're still waiting to make an arrest and find the person responsible for killing Snowball. Reporting live in Excelsior Springs, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.